Hi guys, this is Jen and in <laughs> Hi guys, this is Jen, and in this video I wanted to address a question that I got from one of you, which was, are products in tubs less sanitary than products in bottles, for example? So my answer to that question is, not necessarily. A good brand will formulate around the additional microbes that the product will obviously be exposed to. So the main difference between a product that is in a tub versus a product in a bottle versus a product maybe in an airless dispenser is the preservative percentages. So you'll have to use higher percentages of your preservative system if you have that kind of microbial exposure. Whereas as your product is more protected, then you'll need to use less. How would a brand know that their formula is up to snuff for the type of bottle that they have? Well, before a product is put onto market, you have to do stability and challenge testing to make sure that your product is going to be stable under consumer pressures. For example, dipping your finger in that tub or exposing it to steam in your shower. A lot of people with their eyeshadows, they just leave it open. So you wanna make sure that the product will be able to stand up to the additional pressures of consumers. One thing to note this, I mean, this does apply to water-based products. If you have an anhydrous product, so anhydrous is if there's no water in the formula, so say butters, you don't necessarily need a preserve Conservative, probably it's a good idea. But if you have water in the formulation, that's where you really have to be concerned because as soon as there's a certain level of water, then microbial contamination just becomes an inevitability without a preservative. Preservatives are super important. The one thing about preservatives is they have to be able to kill microbes and for their functionality that might come with risks for irritation or maybe even sensitization depending on what's in the preservative system. When you preserve a product, you wanna use as little preservative as you can. So for your consumers, there's not going to be as big of a concern. For products that are formulated in tubs, because they might have to have a slightly higher percentage of preservatives, they'll still be within a safe threshold within regulatory approval levels. So, I mean, they're still going to be safe, but they might be a little more irritating or a little more potentially allergenic than a product that has less preservative, such as your airless dispenser products. So that's the main difference between the sanitary risks. At the end of the day, when you formulate your product, a big consideration for the whole formula will be the bottle. The challenge is, I mean, if it's not as good of a company, if it's a smaller brand, sometimes they don't really understand that you have to account for the package. This is really important and that's why as a brand, it's important to work with like a professional chemist. They'll know what to do to make sure that your product will be safe or at the very least, get your product stability and challenge tested to make sure that they'll be able to stand up to these consumer pressures. So if you have any questions like this that I might be able to address in a short video, then send them my way either in the comments or via Instagram in messages, and I'll try my best to cover them in a future video. Thanks for tuning in.